Hello and welcome friends, welcome to a new unboxing in the park in my second office. I, I am here in the park, it's quite quite a lovely lovely day, a hot summer's day in Brasov, Romania. And like I told you I'm here in the park, I'm on a chess a stone chess uh, table and I have here the pack from the post office unfortunately guys I don't have um, some cutting tools with me I will try to peel this um, off this protective sleeve off and I'm sorry I will put it like this my phone on the table and basically guys I will try to open it by removing this protective part it will be quite difficult because I don't have a knife with me so I will use just my hands and I managed to take it off on one side it is the address and I want to peel that off I'm sorry guys you probably won't see it but this was the address and it's quite well well placed there so let me take this let me take this off and let me see if I will open it. I don't want to ruin the box, but you can see it's quite a difficult process to open it without some uh, scissors or some little knives. But I've managed to open it. And of course, surprise, surprise, we have another box in this it's uh, written on it fragile so i will see nothing else in this box and let me see i have another address here and i don't want to show you that address i am sorry guys i have to peel it off i will put it like this okay And yes, I've managed to take it off. Let me see the content of this box. First of all, let me tell you that I didn't have to pay uh, a sum of money for it. It was just a gift from an old, old seller. So I want to thank this seller because uh, he waited me to pay all my debts he gave to me a great lot of fountain pens and he waited for 30 days or uh, several months in fact till I managed to pay him all the money I owed him in installments but he was a gentleman he never bothered me uh, with annoying messages when do you, you will pay your debt and I want to thank him for that. He's a really a nice gentleman and um, I hope I will have a future transaction with this gentleman. But uh, unfortunately he doesn't sell fountain pens anymore. Maybe in the future he will acquire nice little pieces. And in fact I have from him, I will show you. I have this beautiful, beautiful Mont Blanc, as you can see, a beautiful, beautiful piece with a silver cap and I bought, he, bought this piece from him and I am forever grateful of uh, this beautiful, beautiful uh, fountain pen which I acquired from the same seller. So without further delay, 
guys this is the content of the pack I'm curious like you are because I really really don't know what he sent me so let me put this box and I will use it as a stand right here for my phone like this and I will show you the content of the pack right here uh, I'm really sorry for this weather it's quite hot and I hope that uh, the video will end up uh, quite quite nice and look at this great great lot I want to thank the seller so believe me guys these wonderful wonderful pieces didn't cost me uh, any money so I am very grateful for what all that you see in this video they are like donations of fountain pens and believe me guys there are some really cool pieces I've noticed for instance this Parker quick uh, box I think it's wonderful let me start first with this pack and then I will show you the other pack so let me see what I have in here okay let's start with the wonderful wonderful ballpoint pen Shari all Shari all the first time I hear about this brand it was tested to see if it is uh, solid gold or not as you can see right over here and I believe it's gold plated and I believe uh, it turns and uh, the mine uh, pushes uh, right through and I think that this is the mechanism yes by turning you can see the mine uh, opens and this is a beautiful ballpoint pen I will leave it right here a gold plated piece of course I have here probably a Chinese model no this is a pilot model a Japanese model and probably you can see the engraving here pilot V and I can't believe it guys so this seller was grateful enough to send me a gold a gold nib in this pilot 14 karat I I am be, be left without words and um, yes I want to thank the seller for including this wonderful wonderful piece and uh, he and I know that uh, I have still two installments he was a gentleman about it he said don't worry about the last two installments well guys I am a man of my words and of my word probably you hear you know that quote that german quote ein man ein wort a man and one word i'm a man of my word if i settle on one price i will deliver that price sooner or later in installments in fact because i'm not so rich i'm not a rich collector but let me tell you one thing guys I'm a man of my word and my word is solid than gold solid than money it is my calling card so if I agree upon a price I will deliver that price this is why I tell you because in my country in one point of the time I win some auctions unfortunately I don't have the money on time and the sellers are two type of sellers the sellers that acknowledge they put a value on my world guys so I don't have to pay the money this month maybe the second month but I will pay the sum of money because I'm a man of my world and sometimes the seller they need money and this is okay with me and if I can't deliver the money in a period of time they sell that lot to other persons it's not a problem for me I completely understand those persons but when you know that I play I pay double the sum of money 
maybe you should wait for me a month or two. It's just my piece of advice to the sellers. Of course, they have their merchandise and they can sell them to whoever they want to sell. Okay, now guys, let me show you this beautiful, beautiful pilot. I'm quite curious about his uh, mechanism. Yes, I believe it. Whoa, quite strange. Maybe it can hold special pilot cartridges. I don't know about this model. Certainly a beautiful, beautiful model with a 14 karat gold nib. Pilot V, a wonderful piece. I want to thank the seller for including this, this lot, this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. Let me move on to the next piece. This is a beautiful Geha school fountain pen with an interesting window. If this window is familiar, this round window at the end is quite a novelty for me. Certainly this logo is uh, interesting. It resembles a piece made in the 1970s or maybe 1980s. The famous reserve at uh, the feed, quite, quite an interesting grand piece. A wonderful, wonderful piece. Again, I want to thank the seller for including this beautiful, beautiful piece. I have another one, another interesting fountain pen. This is a Bayard 862, a French fountain pen, probably you know. Fitted with an iridium nib, an East German nib, probably a Bock nib with that bear. You can see over here. And it's an interesting piece. I'm, it's a piston piece. Or maybe no. Uh, it's like a button filler. A quite, quite nice, nice piece. A nice, nice Bayard French piece. And a beautiful, beautiful black pen with gold trims. Now a fountain pen. It looks like a Flaro. Yes, it is a Flaro 61S. A Romanian made fountain pen, probably in the late 1960s and the beginning of the 1970s. Is fitted with a Flaro nib. Flaro Iridium 51FK nib. A wonderful steel nib, gold plated nib. Quite, quite a nice, wonderful piece. I will put it here. Probably here I have a, a ballpoint pen and it's something written. Uh, yes, it's Elise. If we watch my channel, this is an interesting brand. Although it has a French name, it is in fact a German made product. Okay. And I have a wall, old Watermans. And I'm, uh, this is a lever filler, as you can see, it still has its original lever here. Unfortunately, it lacks its uh, gold nib, but it's a wonderful, wonderful piece. Again, I'm very grateful for the seller for including me in this free lot, this wonderful, wonderful piece. I will certainly find the feed, feeder and the gold nib for this model. A wonderful, wonderful model. I was searching here for the number, it seems like a 52, but I'm not so sure, guys. It's something written there for sure, but you can see it's faded away in time. I will put it right here. Whoa, guys, this, I can't believe it. This is a Pelican 140. Again, a free piece from this seller. Interesting, here we don't have the logo of the Pelican. But we have a beautiful, beautiful Mother of Pearl logo, Pelican 140, uh, no gold nib on it, but definitely a nice, nice piece. And again, I am amazed about the content of this pack. Uh, here I have uh, an interesting Flaro Vega S model. An interesting interesting model with uh, integrated ink converter 
certainly a good good piece unfortunately no cap on it but i will use it for parts i have another uh, fountain pen without its cap and i believe it's also a romanian model unfortunately i don't have some imprints on the barrel but i suppose it's a piston filler it's quite quite a wonderful one look at it I suspect it is also a Romanian product but uh, usually they engraved their models on the barrel so it is not a fact on this model maybe it's a Czechoslovakian model but based on this name I think I recognize it this is a, also a Romanian fountain pen and made in Germany I have a, another Geha fountain pen a beautiful beautiful fountain pen multifaceted ink window and let me see this one has a simple nib a steel nib a gold plated nib engraved on it we have geha as you can probably see and if i'm not mistaken this is a cartridge model and in fact we have a cartridge quite interesting fitted wrong on this one but we still have that cartridge, a beautiful, beautiful Geha. So this was the first part of this uh, unboxing. And the second part will include this beautiful, beautiful Etui. It's made of uh, uh, leather. It's um, uh, on uh, the, on this piece, it, we have zip, zip, okay we open it and inside of it we have some a uh, note i don't know what we have in here whoa some nibs guys they here i have two nibs and here we have a uh, nib and the uh, croup nib and I have two coupe nibs. Let me see. And in fact, they are not coupe nibs. So, in fact, one of them is Pelican, an F nib, a steel nib. Usually, it was gold plated initially, and it's lost its plating. So, one of the nibs. And the other nib is, a, in fact, a coupe nib v2h tal 27 well i heard about the group uh, industry but of course during the second world war they were great cannon manufacturers the german group industry great great group of i didn't know they also made fountain pens and look at this beautiful beautiful atui we have a crown here i'm not so sure uh, the logo of this it could be shown again but uh, of course i don't know judging by the way it's made it it appears to be a leather product a leather atui and maybe this logo it is of a manufacturer i thought of shown again because they had engraved on their nibs this crown i'm not so sure where it uh, stands it is empty as you can see and i also have this la last part it includes a wonderful wonderful parker box and several fountain pens and i must reach them to show you, uh, them to you so first of all let's start with this cap it has a jewel here it reminds me of a parker model of course the clip doesn't remind me of a parker it has something engraved with me with it and i will show you 1.10 16 carats gold field made in usa so uh, cap made in usa not uh, 
gold plated but gold filled it's quite quite a nice difference an ending of a piston filler a turning knob nothing engraved on it i have another fountain pen a floral romanian floral vega sm quite in a nice shape i like this particular one because it's fitted with a dagosa nib an iridium dagosa nib made out of steel gold plated and let me show you the integrated piston filler it certainly likes lacks one of its part but you can see it's quite quite a nice nice flower of Vega SM guys I have another one it's interesting whoa this is a nice nice Mont Blanc so part of the barrel end of the ending is quite quite nice I believe it's from of uh, Mont Blanc 32 or it could be a Mont Blanc uh, 300 I'm not so sure but a wonderful wonderful piece another piece a green one I'm not so sure why it uh, has uh, this uh, part here I'm pretty sure it is a lever filler this is uh, wherever I believe it's an American fountain pen it has also a beautiful beautiful nib and in fact I'm amazed because it's also a 14 karat warranted gold nib so guys you can't believe me or not but this lot it was for free guys so again I want to thank thank you thank you dear dear friend this is a waterman cap a quite useful cap this is another Flaro 61s let me see with the Flaro steel nib and let me see the yes this is an integrated ink converter all the pieces are there and I believe it's still functional another Flaro piece this is a Flaro Pioneer yes Flaro Pioneer a wonderful wonderful piece fitted with a beautiful beautiful Flaro steel gold plated nib let me show it to you Flaro 41F this is a wonderful wonderful piece if you watch my channel you already see its a review it has this interesting interesting small sack and by pressing it it delivers ink to this this little sack a wonderful wonderful piece and for the last pieces guys let me show you a beautiful cap another Mont Blanc cap the model is um, let me see I don't have uh, I, I have only Mont Blanc written on it so Mont Blanc no number of the model Mont Blanc Germany all this is uh, it I think it is more model from the 1970s or the 1980s and now another fountain pen it seems like a piston filler judging by uh, the way it looks it seems like a German piston filler from the 19 50s unfortunately nothing written on it it has a big big uh, crack over here let me see if the piston is still functional no it has some little problems but it is a nice nice piece of course it doesn't have its feeder and its name and for the last pieces I have here a beautiful beautiful Hammer 54 the new uh, the new Hammer 54 engraved on the clip we have Hammer and if we open it 
we see this nib we see a grip section that it's not in great shape we see an ink window here and if we open the banner we see a syringe type filling mechanism and for the last part we have some instructions to a Sheffer fountain pen Sheffer pen textron oh yes yes Sheffer pen textron and the last we have a beautiful beautiful Parker quick fountain pen Parker quick queen Quink containing solve X cleans your pen as it writes. Okay, and a beautiful, beautiful leaflet inside of it. So Parker, pens, pencil, and ballpoints filling and operating instructions. So, this was it, guys. This was my unboxing. Thank you for watching this episode. I'm sorry it took so long. Again, I want to thank the seller. Believe me, guys. What you see here on the table were free of charge. I probably will pay uh, the transportation. But that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. you with some uh, nice, nice views of my park. Wherever you are, I want to wish you to have a wonderful day. This is the pen collector. I want to thank you for your thank you for your view guys if you've enjoyed this unboxing and you want to uh, support my activity please subscribe to my channel in return I will bring to you nice nice unboxings I'm sorry for this son I hope you have a wonderful time and stay safe guys and God bless you all thank you for your view